In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate the functionality for automatic button or automatic attachment placement for your liner case. So in previous videos, we've gone through a lot of our automated processes for the automatic data preparation, for the automatic tooth setup, for the automatic teeth movement controls. And now in this video, I'm going to demonstrate the functionality to add those attachments. So whether you're going to be proceeding to exporting just the models, or you're going to be designing the printable liners or the liner trim curve, in any of those situations, you have the checkbox here to add buttons. So if you go ahead and click the add buttons checkbox and click continue to add buttons, the software then proceeds to open a dialog box where you have different options of attachments to add, different shapes, and you could select the relevant attachment and the relevant general size. You'll have the options to move, to replace, we'll see in just a minute, but by default, we recommend selecting this vertical rectangular shape and medium, and then click the add button. Now what the software did is based on the previous steps where the teeth setup and the teeth movement were defined and set, the software now adds the relevant buttons accordingly. So let's take a look at the panel and we see we have the visibility options to see the initial positions, to see the final teeth positions. We have the option of adjusting the automatic placement that was just done to either have gingival placement, mid placement as we have by default, or incisal placement of the buttons. We have controls here to remove all, which will remove all the buttons, and replace all that will allow all the buttons to be replaced with a different shape. We also have on tooth controls for the particular button. Any button when you mouse over, you'll have the movement widget that shows up on the screen. You'll have the resizing options and the software will show the distance from the edge of the shape to the edge of the tooth. So you could use the functionality on screen if you like to move, rotate, and resize any individual button. In addition, if you right click on a particular attachment, you have options to duplicate, which will then duplicate the same shape and allow you to place it on a different tooth, replace with a different shape and remove accordingly. Once the positioning have been finalized, simply click continue to export to proceed with various export options to save the relevant files.